Hey everyone, welcome back to the Watch With Us channel. This is Ricardo, and I wanna wish everyone a happy new year. And in for review, the first review of the 2021 calendar year is the Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot 57 Ferino Air Races Limited Edition. Now, this is a watch that was created to commemorate the 57th annual Reno Air Races running out of Reno, Nevada. The Air Races are a five-day event which include air racing, um, championship air racing, and aerial demonstrations. Now, Oris became the official timepiece sponsor for the event back in 2018. At that event, they released a commemorative piece, which was a day-date big crown. For the next year in 2019, they released a small second big crown GMT. And now for 2020, they released this three-hander, well, four-hander, also a GMT, but you don't have small seconds on this watch. You have a regular running seconds. Now, the interesting thing behind this watch is the event, which was supposed to be held in 2020, was actually canceled, as were many events due to COVID-19. But Oris still created the watch, and it's still an available limited edition for the race. So with that being said, let's dive into the specs of this GMT from the brand. Now, this limited edition Big Crown Pro Pilot 57 Freno Air Races is 41 millimeters from left to right. You have a 12.2 millimeter thickness on the watch. Your lug to mug measurement from here to here comes in at 49 millimeters. Lug width comes in at 20 millimeters here between the lugs. You get the watch on this canvas strap, which is leather backed. Now the strap tapers down from 20 to 17 millimeters here at the clasp. And this is of course, Oris's new seat buckle clasp. You also have a 17 millimeter measurement right here at the opening for the strap. If we go to the case back on this watch, you see some information on the watch. You see that this limited edition comes in a thousand pieces with this beautiful engraving of the planes used in air races flying around one of the pylons. You have Reno 57th Air Races, Oris Limited Edition. On this specific model, you have number 132 out of 1,000. And some other information here around the watch. Now in terms of the clasp, this is how you actually put in the strap. The strap fits in here, slides through. On the other underside right here, you can just clip it down and now your strap is ready to go. Coming back to the front of the watch, the watch has these beautiful raised numerals. On the outer edge of the dial, you have the different 24 hours for the GMT hand, which is marked here in blue. Your second hand is tipped in that same blue color. Towards the center of the dial, you have, of course, the logo, Oris, and you have D dates. And if you look closely, you'll see right here, right by 12, is the small blue pointer pointing towards the date, which here is marked as the 12th. Now the watch comes with 100 meters of water resistance, which is aided by the screw down crown. If you unscrew the crown, first position, you have winding. 
second position, I'm actually gonna move the watch out of the early hours before I do this. First position, as I said, was winding. Second position is your movement of the date. However, if you go clockwise, you move the GMT hand in hour increments. Counterclockwise, you move the date. And the final position, you actually move the time. As you can see, that is not a true GMT. It is not your hour hand, which moves in hour increments. It is your GMT hand. Now on the inside of the watch, beat an SW Salita 330-1 movement, which is Salita's answer to Etta's 2893. The case here is coated in a gray PVD. And those are the overall specs for this limited edition. With that being said, let's take a jump into my thoughts and pricing on this watch. Now I've had the 57th Reno Air Races limited edition for I'd say about maybe three weeks. And there are definitely some positives on this watch, but there are a handful of negatives as well. First, if I have to jump into the positives, this is officially Oris's smallest GMT that they currently sell. So most of their GMTs are gonna come in around 43 and a half millimeters and even bigger, some 44, some 45. This is the smallest GMT they have at 41 millimeters, which is just amazing. Um, I wish Oris created more GMTs like this. Um, I think the size is perfect for most people. Uh, I'm gonna pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. So you guys can take a look and see how it looks on my wrist. And there's a look right there. As you can see, the watch sits really well. Um, even though that lug to lug is really close to 50 millimeters, the watch still sits pretty good on the wrist. That 41 millimeters really helps. If this was anything bigger, of course, I think the lug to lug would be longer and the watch would suffer in terms of how it looks on the wrist. So that's definitely a positive. I love this gray PVD coating that even goes towards the clasp. Um, this is actually the first time I've experienced the buckle clasp. I um, really like that buckle clasp as well. It's really nice and secure. You have that really comforting uh, click and it's easy to size as I showed you earlier. You just start stretching, um, pulling this out if it's a little too snug, putting it in, uh, pulling this out if it's a little too, um, too snug and putting it in if it's a little too loose. Um, and this is nice because you could definitely use this on other straps as long as you make note right here um, so you are talking 17 millimeters. Maybe you could squeeze in 18, I don't know, but right here is 17 millimeters. Um, and this opening over here, the largest it goes to is 17 millimeters as well. But still the clasp is very comfortable. Um, love the raised numerals on these. I'm so happy that Orvis is kind of taking this to a lot of the models that they have. Um, I think it really adds a nice piece of depth to the dial. Now into the negatives. I would have to say there aren't that many negatives on this watch, but the number one negative has to be the date wheel for me. Because the date wheel is so small, it's not even hard to read the numbers. The, the tough part is 
in many instances, you can you barely see that blue marker that's pointing towards the date. Right now, it's easier to see because I have studio lights and you can clearly see that blue. But on more normal days, it's really hard to tell where that little blue marker is towards the center of the dial. And that's basically my biggest negative. Um, other than that, I think this is a really nice model. Um, it's a really nice limited edition. I think a lot of people will enjoy the PVD. I think a lot of people will enjoy the fact that it's their smallest GMT. As I said, I really hope Oris starts making more GMTs in this 41 millimeter size. As for pricing, this watch comes in at $2,850 from Oris and it is currently available. As I said, it's a thousand piece limited edition. But as I said, overall, I like the watch. Um, as I said, I really want Oris to start making some more 41 millimeter GMTs. Um, there are a lot of us, I think, that will enjoy these. I know these are part of their Pro Pilot line, so of course they come in at larger sizes. But hey, 41 millimeters, this is perfect. Um, more of this, please. More of this sizing, please. Uh, but yeah, that concludes it for my review today on the limited edition i hope you guys enjoyed the review trying to open that up and if you have any other questions definitely place them in the comment section below but thank you guys for tuning in and i hope to see you soon for the next review on the channel. Thank you once again.